In this film we're going to have a look at the Lent Silver 21 pin decoder. So it's item number 10321-01. So this is a fully NMRI compliant DCC decoder. It's got the 21 pin interface. Um, we have five electrical functions and then obviously a superb motor control which we expect from Lentz. The nice thing about this decoder is it doesn't involve any wiring. Um, manufacturers like it because they can position it in a small space within a loco and also wire up a number of functions if they want to. So I've got a fairly basic loco, it's a National Railway Museum C C1 Atlantic. I've removed the screws from the back of the tender to make this a bit easier. With the blanking plug, which is here, it is worth gently e taking it out, so you don't want to bend the pins by yanking this out. You will find that in one corner there's a missing pin, and in the majority of cases the pins go up through the board and into the decoder. Um, but it is worth checking the orientation of the blanking plug um, on a loco because sometimes manufacturers fit them this way up. So line it up, uh, which is a bit difficult to do with the camera in the way. Cable out of the way and push down. So really that's it installed. Quite straightforward and painless. Anticipate any problems with the DCC ready loco but I still like to check things out on the programming track before I give them full power so on a lens decoder you can read CV30 and you want to be seeing zero so that's no faults found. Um, it's a handy little thing to check out a loco before you risk giving it full power. Um, if you get a value of one there's a short on the lighting circuits. Two signifies that uh, the, the loco has overheated the decoder and a value of four is a short on the motor outputs. Uh, happy with that test and we'll put it on the main track. This loco is typical of many of the, the Backman branch line steam locos that people will encounter. Um, so on factory settings of the decoder, it should run beautifully smoothly, even down to a slow speed. I haven't set up any inertia figures or anything, so this is all just on factory set. You can go through and program in uh, acceleration inertia on CV3, braking inertia on CV4, and you can reduce the maximum speed of the loco on the CV5. And there's many more other things that you can do if you wish to. The decoder accepts two and four digit addressing. Um, it also can be programmed on a programming track or programming on main. Um, other features include Railcom and ABC braking, which are Lentz uh, innovations. So I've placed the decoder onto a test rig, which will help me illustrate all of the functions that are on there. So obviously we've got motor control. Headlights and tail lights which switch over a direction and function one. Function two is another light. Function three is shunting speed, so it will half the speed of the loco when it's on. So the decoder when it's delivered has inertia set up. Function 4 will turn those inertias off. And 
And function 5 is the last electrical function. So you've got five electrical functions and a couple of uh, driving functions. All of these functions can be function mapped, so you can move them to different function numbers on an address if you wish. Uh, please use the manual to do that.